Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Jason here from Curated by Dapper and Suave. Um, okay, hello, sorry about that. Um, this is the first time that I've ever done this, so uh, please bear with me. As I said, I'm Jason from uh, Curated by Dapper and Suave. Um, last year, we were very, very successful in having three amazing um, social distance events which went really well. We had two at Dorking Halls and obviously we had another one that took place at Gate Street Barn. Um, really successful, it was really great. Obviously last year was a really kind of, um, you know, rough time for all of us. So um, what was really great was to have these events through sort of lockdown and everyone was then able to, um, you know, to, to sell what they do. Um, so the first um, today is um, we're going to do a live with uh, Dapper and Suave, so obviously the other half of me, just to, um, you know, have a little chat and 10 questions. So what I'll do is I will add... There we go. Um, I'm sitting for a swap, Rob. So hopefully um, he should pop up any minute. So let's have a look. Um, hope you're all well. It's a lovely, beautiful day. So here he is. Hi, Rob. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good. You're right. Let me. There we go. I'm a bit sort of. Can you... <laughs> I... Am I okay, to stare? You're not too bad. We just can't see the bottom half of your beard. <laughs> well, uh, there we go. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Oh, right. Brilliant, brilliant. That's cool. Um, yeah, so as I was just sort of saying, um, you know, um, just introducing, this is our first uh, work, 10 at 10, which, um, so I'm going to start by, um, if you could um, introduce yourself, um, including your business name and what you make and sell, that'd be fantastic. Of course. Um, well, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rob, and along with Jason, I am part of Dapper and Suave. You'll see looming over my shoulder, we've also got Dave, who is our mannequin. He's got the DA of Dapper and the VE of Suave, but he is uh, standing guard, but he's always a good model for putting things on uh, to add onto our website. So um, we, along the way, we make hair accessories more recently, um, which we'll no doubt come on to when we're chatting this morning. We've also more recently added um, some pet accessories into the range, but mostly we're known for creating suit accessories. And we also have a range of vintage bow ties that we've put into the range over the last couple of years from the 19th. 60s and 70s. Fantastic. And um, where are you based and when did you set up your business? So we are based in lovely Dorking in Surrey, which has been a great place to move to. The beautiful rolling hills of the Mole Valley have uh, been great inspiration for us. And as we entered our 40s, we thought it would be a great idea to start a style blog. So we started talking about mixing high street with vintage and just having a bit more confidence in the way we dressed and maybe a bit more of a unique style. So that was back in 2015. And then March of 2016, we decided that we would start to try and make things and work out what we could do. We were very much hand sewers back then. So um, on my uh, lapel here, you'll see these are some of the first flowers that we created. And we actually had this lemon version of it. If I open my fabric cupboard door behind me, you will see that we actually featured in a GQ magazine, which way does my finger go? <laughs> but we featured in that back in 2017. So that was a quite an exciting start to the business. Fantastic. Yeah, GQ was in the magazine. I remember it well with the yellow boxer shorts. So it kind of stood out. <laughs> it was an interesting theme. It was a nice one, this one as well, because it was actually one of our vintage fabrics. So this mix of vintage fabrics and having a new life. And we've done things with um, maybe grandma's favourite shirt turned into one of these, someone's skirt made into a pocket square. So we've done a little bit of that as well. But it's nice to do something quite personal for our customers. Exactly. And then the yellow one was used for a guy for his wedding, where they all used them, which was... Indeed. Back in sunny Spain, if I remember rightly, they looked great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, talking of that, I mean, I don't know if that is, but what is your favourite item to create? Uh, well, I would say, and you probably know this better than me, Jace, that this is something I quite enjoy making. And I always used to love doing origami when I was a kid. And this is one of our um, favourite. You'll see if you look closely, those viewing online, we've got our little cow faces in there. But turning something flat into something three-dimensional. So this is one of our um, ready-tie versions. So with the clip and our branding. But more recently in our pet range, we've actually scaled them down into a much more fun size. Go on your dog's collar 
um, and working with our lovely friends and their brand new um, puppy, not so much of a puppy now, Elvis the Wonder Pup. Um, we've actually put extra pieces of elastic on the back so that the dog can look very smart and not be irritated. So um, we do everything from this adult size via a page boy down to a puppy size. Fantastic, yeah. Um, who, you know, what we love as well is, um, you know, if you can accessorise yourself, and also your dog, which looks great when you're out and about. Uh, yeah, definitely. And we've had those customers, haven't we, where we've got the dog is wearing a bandana, which we also make, and then yeah. the human is wearing a pocket square or a bow tie. So it's quite a nice way to accessorise the family. <laughs> exactly. All uh, right. And um, so what inspires you? Well, as you can see from what Dave is wearing with his cravat and mine, which we'll come on to, the thing that's really inspired us is that accessories can be quite boring and we aren't Moss Bros. We want to have fun with our prints. This has been one of our best-selling designs, so with the, the Blue Wave print, and it's been great finding different um, fabric designers online and getting talking to them and just finding different things so that's just been such a great design for us we've added more recently um some of these designs so things like the fern which we're very keen on and i think will work really well that should last all year round but just that pop of kind of acid green um we've also picked out on the animals theme has always been good for us this um, B print is just beautiful, a real pop of colour again, especially against the white. That will also look great with a navy suit, a grey suit, a black suit. And what we've also done is looked at the size of the pocket squares that we sell, so that especially with the size of wedding being a lot smaller at the moment, if at all, that we've done these down to a slightly smaller and these are now at a £12 price point. So we've kept things really good. So if you're on a budget and life is changing constantly for your special day, we can react to that. So we've got the animals, we've got kind of interests. Then we've also put in things like these for our hobbies. So this is our um, planet's design. Good morning, Silver by the Button, waving at us. Um, and we've also put in, being in the Mole Valley, we get a lot of cyclists around here, loved or otherwise. This is going to be coming out in the coming months. So just a further update on our bicycles print. So all of those things are really exciting for us. But... We're not just about those kind of simpler pieces, more for a formal occasion. We've also been lucky enough to work on quite a few different styled shoots. So this was probably one of our first pieces that we created. This was made with fake flower petals into a ready tie bow tie. And whilst this was quite fun in itself, this was a more theatrical piece that we had with somebody wearing um, an ostrich front shirt that we created with the ostrich feathers. Then, for those of you watching Bridgerton and watching The Crown, we were lucky enough to have this featured in a photo shoot at Summerley House, which seems to be in the press because they're arguing about it. But this was one of Jason's beautiful creations, which you can see with the feathers just added a lot of movement. It looked stunning with a very simple wedding dress, um, but meant that the groom gets... Um, the chance to be himself and show off his personality on the day if he's one of those guys who has got that confidence and a bit of a peacock about him. Fantastic. And also behind you, I can see the uh, the postcards that were from all of our photo shoots. That indeed, we indeed. If my finger goes the right way, that is the one which had the, the pink flower in. Um, we don't yet have a, the uh, postcards up for Johnny wearing this, but he did look fantastic. Yep, they will be coming soon, obviously more photo shoots hopefully in the horizon once we're... fingers crossed fingers crossed <laughs> so where and what is um your workplace so home is our workplace it's been useful um defining the spaces we have in our home so that we've got an office space but this is our dedicated space we uh, use our shed for inspiration but this is the conservatory space really so you can see the pictures behind you've seen that we've got the fabric covered here all organized so some uh, some peaks of things which are yep. to come so we're terrible for actually buying that um, we're also lucky enough to have a nice view of the garden which we worked on during lockdown and around me that you can't see we've got basil plants peppers and some more things to get planted over the coming weeks to get out and really bring the space together so it's uh, it's nice that it's a dedicated space you can come to and it feels quite calm exactly i mean i, lo I love working in there obviously veg growing has been very important for me last year and this year it's uh, full on, so I will be sharing some of that <laughs> here with you all. Um, so, um, have you been working on anything new this year at all? So, I've mentioned them a couple of times, but um, Dave, 
myself and this example are the brand new cravats that we're doing and I can see Sweet Seas is on with us at the moment um, and her lovely friend Sheila who works with her asked if we were doing these so it's something we've been talking about before and I think with more people working from home I've put this on today feeling quite casually smart and I think working from home and making sure that the top half of you at least looks great on that Zoom call or work meeting what we've done with these is that you'll notice that we've got the normal full length this side but on the reverse end it actually finishes with a small loop so what happens is that and you'll see this on each listing on our website you push this through and then fold around over your neck which means that wearing this today it's actually really comfortable because you don't get a lump of fabric yeah. that behind pushing your shirt out um, and it's looking really strong and I know we were both very excited this morning that we sold a second one they seem to be going really well to America at the moment which is um, exciting and I think we might need to buy some new fabric in one of the designs at well, the moment. <laughs> We like buying fabric. Um, so, as you know, cu um, curated by... Can I mention these as well? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, sorry. it's funny Jason's forgotten to mention these because sorry. this is what Jason's actually been making. One of the other things that we started last year was obviously with the hairdressers not being able to open as much and hairs getting different lengths. One of the things we did last year was that we started to use the last pieces of our um, fabrics to make scrunchies with the elastic. Um, and something we had done as a bit of a custom order for people historically was to make headbands. So this is the new range that we've done. So with the elastic at the back, some of these designs, maybe not this one, but depends on your personal choice, could be worn by men or women. It's a bit of a sweatband, a headband, just to sweep away from your face. Um, this is also, we decided we would try and do a Valentine's suggestion. So this is our lockdown love and you can see the flying hearts. But again, this has been a good design for us. I think just the freshness of the colours again, and we've got different colours out there for different hair colours. Um, so check them out online. Yep. I mean, the lockdown love, pocket squares and... We got pocket squares. We actually did a custom dog bandana for somebody this week because she really liked it. Um, and we have been continuing with our face masks. We now have changed our face masks or updated them so that they've actually got the nose clip in the section. I think we've both found I'm normally a glasses wearer. Um, it's something customers have said they would quite like. So we've added that in. And um, our first lockdown love face mask sold to one of our customers out in Singapore. Brilliant. Cool. I mean, yeah, we have a really vast with people around the world that buy from us, which is great. So, yeah, um, as I was saying, sorry, I said earlier, but <laughs> I apologize, I'm very good at that. So, um, yeah, as you know, curated by Daphne Suave, um, we now have an ethos about customer service, which is really, really important to, to us. Um, and also, you know, going forward, I think people really want that ethos. So it's about being friendly, creative, and, and also unique. So what is Daphne Suave's ethos? So Dapper and Suave was inspired by good old Pinterest and looking out there. And for us, especially at the beginning, it was all about doing well, living well and dressing really well. You and I have both been to events where people don't even know who we are and we turn up and they know we are Dapper and Suave. Yeah. I think the favourite question of ours, slight peeve, is which one's Dapper, which one's Suave? And it's actually about a combination of the two things. So for us, the, the doing well and living well, it's not really about kind of shouting to the world how amazing you are it's just that feeling when you put something on that gives you that great feeling you feel quite powerful and it's that you're going to a special occasion or a school reunion or all of those kind of things where you just want to feel your absolute best and it's trying to use accessories and the way you dress to do that I think that combination of where we've done styling on the shoots you can see above and that they do have this element of confidence um, as one of our good friends who does some modeling for us says it's doing a bit of peacocking it's that having that little bit of confidence with one or a couple of items to really give you that confidence and I know I found back in my day job was that um, when I was wearing some of our accessories things like that little cow print face popping out of the top of your pocket started a conversation with people I've sold things with lobsters on because a finance director's husband collected them and it's just really fun how that starts a conversation and it's that simple pop of color you can do things a little bit more simply here you can see with the reds and the blacks and the gold 
Excellent. What we've been thinking about is that life has obviously changed through the course of 2020. We were lucky enough to make some amazing photo shoots happen, but they were done in a much more contained way. And I think as people are finding even the opportunities to dress up, I think there are gentlemen out there and ladies who just want to make that little statement about themselves. Yeah. But um, what we've tried to do is then reflect that in. It's also about how you feel about things. It's not just about what you're dressing. You could be very casual with maybe one of our very small lapel flowers, the Kanzashi ones that we make. So on our Pinterest board that we've got, Dapper Suave over on Pinterest, we've pulled together what we wear and our products. But we've also done some boards about art that inspires us, some humor that makes you laugh in the darker days, and also some quotes about style. And you'll know those famous quotes from... Oscar Wilde, Coco Chanel, Tom Ford, all those kind of things. So we're just trying to pull it into a place where you can have some inspiration. I think what we've both found with Dapper and Suave over time is that we've um, found a, a handwriting about the way that we dress. And it's a little bit clashing and it's a little bit of fun, but nothing so over the top that it's sort of high fashion. It's just having a personality, especially as we're getting older. It's trying to find something unique rather than buying it off the shelf. Definitely, definitely. No, brilliant. Um, so um, our next question is, uh, what are your goals and dreams for this year? I think the goals this year are just how we're going to embrace Dapper and Suave. For some of our particularly close friends, they'll know that um, back last year, Dapper and Suave and curated by Dapper and Suave, we had day jobs as well. And over the course of last year, we've been pushed into a position where Dapper and Suave is our life and we work together now. So I think the goal is to work out how we're going to make that work and to work out how we're going to make our appeal slightly broader. So one thing we found last year was the fact that with face masks coming on trend, it's the wrong word, but yeah. it that we had female customers who've always liked what we've done, but maybe not had a gentleman or friend in their life necessarily who was going to wear them that often. It means we have got more female customers out there. And I think it's just working out what are the right things that mean our brand is still dapper and suave, but what we can add in in terms of fun new designs and listening and learning from customers and what we're seeing ourselves. I think from a dreams point of view, I think the dream would be that we can continue to um, get out and meet our customers because that's so important um, but the cliche one but so true is to be able to get out and hug friends and family all those loyal customers who come and see you every single time um, you know you are out there so um, yeah it's a bit of a cheesy one on the dreams but the goals is definitely more of a business um, formed one yeah and I think it's very true at the moment to to have those dreams I mean at the moment it's it's very a very dark place, but I think we need to to look forward to the future, and you know that's why uh, curated by Dapper Suave is you know we have events happening later on in the year, and we'll do what we can to make them as they were last year, if not definitely, in, definitely. You know we're we're working on at the moment. You know we we sent out the availability forms, and um, there's a lot of newness there, and and then we will work out and and great you know real great. Um, um, you know, curated mix of you know store holders, which will be amazing. So yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, next question. Um, yeah, I love that sweet. He's first in the queue for. Our <laughs> yeah. We'll fight you for it, Caroline. Exactly. <laughs> there's a there's a big yeah jumping the queue. Um, so who is your support network? Well, support network is always going to be the, that slightly cliche, but friends and family back in 2016, um, you know, I've been doing quite a lot of self-reflection on how on earth we got to here and how we now have our own business. Yeah. I think um, all of the things you maybe studied at university school, having the day job as well and turning that into something. But those friends and family, particularly in our local area in Dorking, were so supportive when we first started selling. Um, and it's um, it's those people who've really kind of kept us going, especially when you think, oh, we're not selling anything. Um, but then that leads me on to exactly what you said about curated, and it's those other small business owners. Um, it's all of these lovely names that are just popping up on screen at the moment. It's having them because they understand what you're going through, or they might be having a completely different version of that and how you work on it. 
Um, the, the people I think that we've found along the way are people um, like Silver by the Button, so Emma and that network of people who are sort of Milton Keynes based and they're in a different area, but what they're going through. And I was lucky enough to get the chance to go up and support Emma and Gary from Stuff by the Bloke and just seeing how that worked and what we could learn from that. I think that we're all in this together and it's just how we can learn from that. The other one is also the customers. They are definitely our support yeah. network. Um, and if John from Belfast is on the line watching at all, thank you for all the vintage bow ties you bought. We've got some lovely regular customers who do come back, who've built up face mask collections or then pass it on to their friends. I know your wrapping has been particularly commended, Jason, for doing some gift wrapping. But we're very lucky that uh, through the, the Etsy shop that we have, which sits alongside our website, which I'll plug is www.dapperandsuave.uk, you'll see on there there's a lot about the story of who we are, and I think that does resonate with our customers. And those customers are all the way from, we've had somebody in Moscow, somebody in Singapore, we do really well in the United States, we've had lovely conversations with somebody who works for the Texas um, Chicken um, association and the poultry association and just seeing them wearing their face masks and just having that sense of humor that they could bring their job alive so a big thank you to that support network we think we're strong as um, business owners but having that group of people around us is so powerful excellent and and as you say rob just mentioned dapper and suave and that's where you can find all the information for curated because we've joined both of our websites together so if you want to find out a bit more about curated you can go and find that or dapper and suave and if you want to contact either of us there is a form for either dapper and suave or if you want to you know to join and be part of curated there is a form there that you can fill in as well so we've amended a little bit just so it's a bit more clearer and you understand what we are as together as in two different businesses but as in one brand yeah, um, and yeah, i think so to just to touch on that, Jason, I think one of the yeah. key things we try to talk about is the fact that as Dapper and Suave, the two of us together, what we bring to our business expertise is that we make things, we style things and we host markets. And Jason tends to be more of the face of the curated size. So you'll see that mentioned more. But we just try to make it much more clearer about this is what we do with the products. And if you're interested in doing some custom work with us so that we can create something for your wedding or a special day or something you particularly want made. But also that's the place where you can contact us if you're interested in doing collaborations with us as well. So um, hopefully it's much clearer, but feedback is always appreciated. And we try to be as human. I think this experience of talking to Jason from two different parts of our house is a bit weird. Yeah, but hopefully it means that you can see that there are two sides of this coin of our business and we will try to talk to you as in such a friendly, creative way as we do in person, online. So hopefully that's it. That's a bit of a seamless experience. Beautiful. Lovely. And uh, the last of my 10 questions is, and um, why do you like working with Curated by Dapper and Suave? Well, this does feel a bit of a cheesy blowing smoke kind of thing, but I think the biggest thing, and those of you who've joined this as part of the Curated by Dapper and Suave family, the big thing is Jason's passion. Um, what we found with putting both of the sides of the business together is that it's given us a real clarity on, I represent Dapper and Suave and we'll sell coal to Newcastle type thing. Um, but that also means that Jason gets the opportunity to be a host and to curate. And the passion he has for that and his ability to talk to people and go around and check that storeholders and customers are having a great experience at our markets is one big part of it and um, the other thing is i would say is that there there is this family that we built of um, quality small businesses who make and really care about what they do they understand what we're doing and we saw that very much with um, when we were very lucky between the two different curated events that we were about to go into lockdown and Suddenly, as a group of storeholders, we had the chance to bounce off each other, talk to each other, not hug this time, but at least to share stories and um, feel that we were supporting each other. The other thing is that that group of curated by means that it gives the opportunities for collaboration. So we've done a beard oil with Pure Mess. We've done photo shoots where different um, suppliers we've worked with 
slightly outside of the curated family, but also as part of it. And also seeing those collaborations that do come together. So I know Pure Mess with Flossie and Hunt Illustration and, and the work that Sweet Seas has done as well. And it's absolutely fantastic. Just who knows each other? And you see that on social media and you can see Silver by the Button saying it is this kind of community that we built up, however far apart we are. The other thing I think is that with um, just over five years of Dapper and Suave under our belt and just over three years of the event side of things, it's the fact that this experience continues to grow and change. Personally, even just outside of being a businessman, I need to continue to feel like I'm growing and um, evolving, that I'm not stuck in a rut. That is never me. And I think the creative side of things, but also these events and the work that we do together, um, it's not a static thing. We continue to learn. We still managed to get three events on during COVID last year, and we'll continue to do our hardest to give a platform to shine, I think, is something one of our best friends said the other day. What we do with the markets is a, is a chance to shine and to give that to a small business with the insider knowledge of it that's what makes working with curated by very special thank you that's great lovely yeah and like i say pay me later <laughs> yeah i mean being you know friendly creative and unique you know I, I realize now going forward that there are some people who who might not know how to present themselves or the customer service so that's what some of the things i will be helping people out with you know their instagram how to just kind of you know, get their, their message out about what they make. And obviously, if, you know, being in front of people, it's quite scary. But, you know, when I've had quite a few years of customer service experience in lots of different ways, it's something that I have a passion for. So, you know, I hate going into shops where, you know, I'm, I'm ignored. So that's what I want when you come to a curated by Dapper and Suave event. I want people to feel welcome. And, you know, as, as I keep saying now, it's a really weird sort of time and you know if we can give that you know that sort of love back to people when they come to visit our events is is yeah. very special so yeah. I, I would if i i would just add to that as well jason i'm yeah. not and sloan's on this um video at the moment i think we we had a brief conversation about where would be the best place to put earrings on the stand yeah. and we've both got very strong retail backgrounds of mine particularly 20 plus years and it's things like oh a slightly different look at where should that sit and we bounce off each other we're lucky to have two people on one side of the business but sometimes it's having the confidence to say am i doing this right can i help what yeah. do you think my signage and I think that's what we also bring with curated is that we can support I mean one day maybe a workshop about it and how you pull it all together yeah. um, and pulling on that retail and my training experience as well and just seeing what else we can offer exactly exactly well I want to thank you um what you've done today is amazing um <laughs> I, can't say, I didn't get a word in edgeways but this is about you know it's a really great just seeing the people that have joined today and it's really great that we can all see how we're doing, what we're up to. And um, there will be more of these happening. So um, I will be seeing you all. We'll be back here on Monday with um, the lovely Gemma from Pure Mess. Um, so that's 10 at 10. Um, and there will be um, other ones. And we'll let you know so you know who's going to be there. But it'll be lovely to see you all again. Um, I say, if you've got any questions, anything you need help with, um, just contact us and um yep yeah, it's a lovely beautiful day so um i'm wishing you a lovely lovely weekend and we'll see you back here on monday so thanks everyone lovely thanks. to meet you bye bye, bye.